Hi, this is Graham Smith from NetApp, and I'm here at VMworld Amir with a VM volume demonstration. So let's start by what is the problem we're trying to solve. So prior to virtualization, application administrators had more control over the storage. They had application granular management of storage. Virtualization brings many benefits, but it created a layer of abstraction called the data store, where the virtual disks themselves cannot be managed separately. So working with VMware, we've created something called VM volumes, where we now provide the administrators back the ability to configure virtual disks just like they had in the prior to virtualization. This is basically application granular management. So looking at the architecture, uh, the ESX servers see these VM volumes through what's called protocol endpoints. These are other LUNs or mount points in NFS. The VM volumes are contained within storage containers for NetApp. These are within a vServer and volumes within the vServer. And the V volumes themselves are either LUNs or files in NFS and are tracked by a unique ID. So taking a look at the ecosystem, uh, so we obviously have the uh, NetApp controllers and then on top of that vSphere created some virtual machines with virtual disks. The VASA vendor provider here on the in dark blue is really the brains of the outfit. It's providing the information of the storage capabilities up to ESX. Uh, what is that ability of the storage replication, deduplication, etc. So taking a look at that in more detail here so I can set efficiencies, uh, I can set latencies, uh, those are exposed up to vCenter and the app uh, virtual administrator now can create storage profiles. Uh, here we're going to create some profiles for gold, silver and bronze. Gold of course has high performance, um, replication etc. The virtual administrator can now create these virtual machines and place these virtual machines in the right containers. Actually the VASA provider is doing that automatically. If we need to change the compliance or something goes wrong with compliance, the VASA provider will actually automatically adjust. Okay, so let's take a look at the demo itself. So NetApp is actually a design reference partner for the VM Volume project. So we have very early builds of vSphere 6. We're also using early builds of ONTAP itself. So what you'll see in this demonstration is not something you'll expect in a data center soon. So let's take a look at our system here. We see we have uh, version 6 of vSphere. This is obviously a uh, pre-release build. Um, we have uh, storage providers already configured here. There's basically one per vServer in a NetApp cluster mode configuration. And now we'll take a look at the, uh, the actual data store capability profiles that have been exported by the uh, the VASA vendor provider, i.e. the NetApp vendor provider. So you see we have two uh, a gold and a silver um, profiles and under gold we'll see we have uh, several capabilities been exported to so snapshots, deduplication, replication. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, actual storage objects that are providing those here as well. So we'll wait for the system to refresh and we see we have two, an NFS and an iSCSI container there. Uh, let's take a look at the silver as well. So we'll see actually the same two uh, storage containers uh, providing those. Um, and on the summary, so we have snapshots and deduplication on, but not replication. Okay, so now let's go and configure some uh, profiles or VM storage profiles. Uh, so what we'll do first, we'll just click add. Uh, we're going to create a new profile here. Uh, I'm going to have this one for just the uh, general purpose storage. Uh, so not for anything too critical. Um, so I'll give it that a name. I'll call it general so I can refer to it later. You see here there's a rule set um, guidelines there. Uh, VMware was kind enough to uh, put NetApp down there which is kind of cool. Uh, anyway so we're configuring our rule set here. We see we've added deduplication uh, and set that on for this case and it's going to then see what sort of storage uh, can match that ability and we'll see here we have the uh, NFS container that was uh, exported up through the VASA provider so we know we have matching storage uh, so let's go and configure a second one here and here I'm going to have this for business critical applications and I'll uh, add more abilities in that rule set Let's go through that. Uh, again, we'll choose our provider here. This is the NetApp provider. So I'm going to set snapshots. Uh, I'm going to set them every minute, which uh, should give us very good protection. Uh, I'm also going to set deduplication and replication on here. So what we'll see is um, we're going to do the matching there. 
and uh, we'll, once that finishes we'll complete you will see we now have uh, a uh, second profile for business critical applications okay so uh, now we've got our profiles configured uh, let's go and configure a virtual a new virtual machine so we're just going to go through, uh, obviously this is the uh, new web client. Um, so we're just going to go through here, um, picking my data center. Uh, let's choose a new virtual machine. I'm going to give this a name, of course. Uh, I'm going to call it Test Vivo. OK, so now we'll pick which uh, server I want to uh, have this start up on. Uh, let's pick this guy. Okay, so now we're in the uh, storage selection. So here I'm going to pick the uh, general uh, storage profile, and it's then we're going to check which of the uh, configured uh, data stores uh, have that ability. I'm going to pick this guy, the container, and uh, go click next. I see um, uh, I want to be compatible with ESX 5.1 and above. Uh, this is going to be uh, a Linux installation, so I'll, I'll pick that and uh, then we get the opportunity to uh, go and customize the hardware here so see we have a, our 16 gig hard drive I'm going to make that a little smaller uh, and I'm actually going to add a second hard drive here because I just want to show something um, the cool feature of the ability to match uh, two different virtual disks in a virtual machine to uh, different uh, storage profiles so here I'm going to go and browse uh, I'm going to go back to uh, up here. You'll see the VM storage profiles. I can select our business critical applications. Again, it's going to see which data stores have that capability. Uh, click on my container again and uh, click next. And now I'm ready to complete. So let's uh, start off the uh, virtual machine creation. And uh, it succeeded. Great. Okay, so let's go to our new virtual machine and uh, power this guy on. So before we can open the console, we need to uh, have it actually finished its power on. And then we can open the console and check that it actually booted. Alright, so let's start the console. This opens up another browser page, of course, for the new uh, web client. And we say, yes, that's the uh, installed CD for Ubuntu. Okay, so let's go to our machine and uh, actually let's take a snapshot. So I've installed the OS, so I want to make a snapshot copy of that. Um, pretty much the same workflow as uh, older versions, or I should say current versions of eSphere. I'm going to give the snapshot a name. Uh, I can QS the, mem the uh, VM's uh, memory, etc. And then we'll see the uh, snapshotting actually go through. Uh, and this is actually going to be pretty quick. Um, one of the things with uh, the VM volumes is that the snapshots are actually offloaded to uh, the NetApp array. So we're actually here using uh, NetApp um, abilities to actually do this snapshot. So uh, it's significantly faster than driving this as uh, the, the previous versions of VMware snapshots. Uh, so let's take a look at the uh, the managed snapshots, and we'll see that yes, indeed, we do have our uh, our new snapshot there. When it was taken, exactly what you'd expect to see. Okay, so now I have my virtual machine configured just the way I want it. It's all installed. Let's take a clone of this. So just want to talk through the workflow for cloning and see how that works with the VM volumes. So I'm going to give my clone a name here, clone vivo. Of course I'll pick a compute resource. And now we'll select the uh, storage we want to uh, clone into. Uh, here you'll see actually the VM storage profiles have come up again. I can pick uh, either the business critical or general in this case. I'm going to clone into this container. And you'll see actually a quick warning there that the uh, snapshots from the original VM are not going to be copied over when we do the clone. So that's fine. Um, so let's finish and start the clone and we'll see actually how quick this is. 
So we're already up to 94%. This, just like snapshots, is because the cloning operation is being offloaded to the NetApp storage controllers, uh, which are obviously very quick, quick at cloning. Uh, so we see we've completed this. I'm going to go in and take a quick look at the summaries, see if this was configured the way I actually wanted it. And then as I do this, I realize, uh, actually, I want to go back. I want to actually show how I can edit um, this virtual machine and add yet another virtual disk. So let's start the edit, and uh, I'm going to go through and uh, click Add on another virtual disk. Okay, and before I create that, let's choose a storage profile for it in a container. Okay, so just browse for which one. Okay, I'm going to stay with general, uh, but this time I'm going to put it into the NetApp container rather than the, the previous container. And we see we've just very quickly created a virtual disk. So let's recap the value propositions of VM granular management and VM volumes. So I can now do quality of service at a virtual disk layer, provide SLO guarantees for tier 1 applications, and cap performance limits of the lower tier applications. I can do snapshotting at a virtual disk level, set that schedule in uniquely, decide how long I want to retain those snapshots uniquely. In the future we're working on technologies that will allow replication at a per V disk level. And of course, with thousands of objects in the, the infrastructure, it's very important that we make this simple to manage. So we're working very closely with VMware to make that very easy to manage not only thousands of VMs, but tens of thousands of these virtual disk objects. Management by storage-based policy management. Thank you for watching this video, and if you're at VMworld in EMEA, thank you for attending, and good day. Thank you.